Alright, so we were playing uh, game one. Not sure if they're going to let intros rock. I didn't get to see the stage for the sound selection. You know, very important things when it comes to a match. Mankind so it looks like they will be letting it rock. So of Alright, so we will be holding it down. Solo versus Sato versus Boss. I'm sure it will be an interesting experience. Lots of bombs, lots of explosions, lots of summoning probably. Yeah, and they did not let it rock. Apparently the intro was a little too long to let it rock. Alright, so we're moving on to the match. Boss have really good anti here in, in this matchup, so I have will have to be very careful in approaching. And uh, you can see if you let Boss just have room, he'll just be throwing out items. And I'm sure that was an accident. I do not think he meant to taunt right there. But you know, Boss is such a weird character, there might have been a chance that he has some tech with taunt. Maybe I'm gonna have to ask him on that one. But let's go back to the match. Sato pressure going around. Gets hits with the 5 5D, tries to bait first, but no luck there. Alright, mini falls and then uh, doesn't do anything here. Sato does have 50 meters, so at any moment he could just press sword and then basically gets refills with Eddie Gage back. Ooh, nice YRC. Gets out of that mix up. Alright, just gonna go back to neutral, slow it down. Matchup was a little bit too fast paced for him. And then this is a this is a tempo that Fight Haber wants to play it as. But oh no, the blue RC into reversal grab. The Guilty Gear Strive classic. He's playing around the bomb, baits the burst, and both players have to be so respectful of that bomb in such a close match that it can be decided by anything. Wow, command grab in between the gaps. Oh, checking his buttons in that time. That makes sense. He did the taunt. He did the taunt. It was an attack. It was just, you know, he forgot to do his buttons. No matter how good we are, no matter how long we've been playing fighting games, we always have to remember, check your buttons. Uh, I'm guessing they're just going to let that one rock. You know, it's between the command grabs, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the game too much. Alright, so we're going to go back. Playing beautifully around the bomb, playing some volleyball. I don't know if I have her... I think he's too far from the bomb. Yep, he is. And then, uh, Boss uses his burst early. Doesn't really have a choice, gets the cornerback, and now here we go, the item and the mix-ups will start coming along. Okay. Sato sets up the post, gets hit by Unblockable, unfortunate. Boss is doing a really good job at stopping uh, Eddie from coming in, and stopping uh, Sato in the aerial approaches. Oh, what a great RC confirm right there. Ooh, mix up, no, no luck right there. Wire seeks to put him in the corner, and now this is not where Trevor wants to be. Oh, mix, mix, mix into another item toss. Mini Foss in into the reversal grab. Another one, but no punish on this one. I have get close this down, but Mini Foss saves the day. He has to be respectful of the hammer and the delay. Sweet, there it is right there. It was a little bit too much pressure. The ship damage just added on along. Man, commentating this match is really chaotic. Respect to the commentators out here that hold it down and commentate these type of characters. They're just, they are wilding out. Oh, wow, the side switch with this unblockable. Mini boss is angry and the afro is on fire. And here comes the fuzzy setup. Just runs to the corner. Oh, purple RC and then he's gonna get the trumpet from this as well. See how aware uh, Malphite is, aware of his items right there, just turning around and just reverse grabbing him and picking up his own trumpet. This is a, quite a big comeback for Sato, but he can do it. Sato does have some very high damage output, but he can no longer take too much ship damage. And here we go, double overhead into regular grab, that will seal game one. Quite an extended game so far. Very good showing from Malphite. You can see that uh, Sato was getting a couple of hits, but he wasn't able to make too much off of it. He needs to get some kind of clean hit, let Pose or double hit rocks to convert to a combo. And Foss has such an awkward hitbox that you can see right there, he's just not getting the confirmed team once. There it is, it was a counter hit sweep. Uh, Foss has to use his burst early. Ooh, beats the burst back. Here we go, and then he just gets to toss items for free. And also snipes Eddie along with it. There's the bomb as well, he has to be careful of. Oh. Playing it to the max, to the limit. Oh, purple RC, that's so cheap, man. What are you supposed to do against that? I don't know how you beat that. We need the tech for that. Counter hit JS, or JH, I believe, from what it was, into a full combo. This character no longer sucks. I refuse to let people downplay this character anymore. He has so many tools. He can play the long range, he has great anti-airs, and he can convert a lot of hits that most characters win. 
But Zata right back, breaking the wall, getting that positive bonus. He's probably going to build 50 here. He just has to play around not having Eddie. And there it is. Yes, Eddie right back from the anti-air 5k to the 6 age. And now here we go, Meteors. Has to respect that the banana army is coming. And Sato just wants some space, you know. Reversals, Amorphous. Is it Amorphous? I think that's what that move is called. Oh, and again, anytime he sets up a pose, Malphite just does purple RC or Scarecrow mix and then just grabs him out of it. And then a blockable combo into his. Wow, that was so cheap. That was so incredibly cheap. And then another one. But I don't believe Malphite will just be throwing out items like that. He's playing rather patiently. He has the life lead. He just has to be careful, not screw up, and then another Scarecrow PRC. That's about the fourth one we've seen so far. All of them have been successful. And it just gets around uh, him trying to throw out Eddie in neutral. He has to be really careful every single time he has boss up to the meter. He just has to be really careful of setting up Eddie. Malphite's doing a very good job of barring around any, just sniping him when he's out, and then when he has 50 meters, just uh, grabbing him on the screen. It's actually rather scary. And he's going crazy with the items, but the RNG is not on his side right now. He's got a lot of afros and bananas. Not really what he's looking for. Kind of like some tears and hammers. Trumpet is okay sometimes, depends on, depends on the matchup. Oh, the afro is on fire, there it is. Now he gets to toss items again. Even if he gets a small combo out of like that, he doesn't really care about Oki. He just keeps tossing out items. But Boss slowly gets pushed into the corner, tries to challenge a pose that does not work out on his way. By Harry with a little bit of a desperate attempt at the Amorphous, but uh, it does not work out in his favor. And then the Meteors will be coming along, and then all the items in the world as well. Snipes out Eddie, great anti-air 2B. That was actually insane. But trips over his own banana. The hammer comes out, but the hammer does not care. Hammer cannot do anything to oppose. See, this is the power of oppose. It's just so hard to throw it out, but when it does work out on his way, that was the first clean hit. Easy round right there. Just so much damage he can get out of that. And by every single time, Boss just snipes out Eddie, you know, not letting him start out with pressure for free. He's doing such a good job at sniping out Eddie. And then baits the burst yet again. Another burst save pressure. Counter hit full slash, or I believe actually it was jump age. But the match turned around rather quickly, now on Fight Haver's side. He doesn't have Burst, so he will have to be really careful playing around while Tony decides to YRC instead. He gets the hammer into more extended pressure right here. Snipes out Eddie yet again. Wow, what a great attempt. He can pick up the trumpet, but Foss has a rather easy time just playing around trumpet. Just jumps up, you know, throws his paper back in the air and can't really do much about it. Eddie trying to just push right back, but now he's going over there. He comes back. He's probably going to try to pick up this trumpet. Doesn't really care too much about it. The first it makes, and I think that was the right call. You can see right there that instead of the first time, he, it was the same scenario happened twice where Fight Haver was right next to a trumpet the first time he gave up his pressure and Oki for it. The second time, he shows to have uh, use Eddie instead of pressure and just ignore the trumpet, which I think is the right call. Uh, all right. And then gets the goal burst, but oh, what a pick up. Cross from cross side. He just auto corrected like that. All right. Here we go. Eddie, I think he got sniped by a normal from uh, Boss, but I didn't even notice what caught him. Into the mix, mix, mix. Baits the grab with the purple RC drift, and I think he's going to break the wall. Yes. All right. Very little life, and there it is, the 5H. Wow, what a, that 5H was not did not work like that uh, in the other Guilty Gears. All right, welcome back. This match is rather chaotic to commentate, so I'll give you props for doing it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so right now the match is 2-1 by Haber trying to make this comeback. He's right now pressuring with Eddie and it's going to break the wall. We'll see if he decides to super here. Yeah, just in the background of the match I was playing, I was seeing, you know, Salto with the afro getting thrown against the wall. Oh uh, yeah, it was, it was rough. The, all the items were going in uh, Fossil's way, but uh, Fight Haber has shown really good adaptation in the neutral and how he plays around items. That's good to say. Nice sweep though into Mix Mix Mix. He's going to carry Salto all the way to the corner now. Malphite's going to try to do it. He'll find one more opening. Good poke out of Eddie though. Yeah, That's going to allow for things to reset in favor of Faust. Yeah, he's going to reset the pressure here with his Amorphous, giving him some breathing room, trying to set up Eddie. And see what he can do about it, but the mini boss comes in clutch, and the boys. He has all his boys coming, the whole school is coming. Right. 100 tons coming down, Sato able to get an approach in, but get to be met with a solid grab coming out of Faust. Malphite, red roaming canceling for a bit more damage in it. 6P's gonna do it. Out, yeah. yeah. 
Damn. Boss just had some really good uh, space he controlling. He mm -hmm. All the items going his way. Just kept the extended pressure and just had was rather playing really safe, mm -hmm. not getting caught by the oppose or those typical Sato things that would basically give him a billion damage. Yeah, I feel that, that this is the second set with Malphite where a lot of really solid items came out and he just had really good decision making. Yeah, right. it was really impressive to see, yeah. but now we'll be playing against, I believe, Nago. So All we'll right. see how that goes. <laughs> Have fun, man.